Okay, so we're gonna just go in now and we'll create an activity. So we'll just click at the top here, we see activities and we'll go into all activities. And we can see here we've no activities created in here, but just this would look like uh, the item bank or the item list that we saw, um, but it would just have activities instead. So you'd see the activity reference or the activity name. You can also configure descriptions for your activities just to give a bit more context for your other authors um, as to what that activity is about. And then you'll have um, an icon here to indicate whether the activity is published, unpublished or archived. And then when you have quite a large number of activities, you're able to search as well. So search by the activity reference, the description, the status, the tags, and so on. So if we wanna add an activity, and um, we'll just do so in the top right here, just click add activity. And just like with items, we'll give our activity a meaningful name. So we'll just call it geography test one. Um, and we can also give it a description if you want to. Um, we'll leave the status as unpublished for now, but we can change that when we're ready. And then you can see here we have the activity editor. Now there's a huge, huge range of options in the activity editor. So we're actually going to do a separate webinar on the activity editor. Um, we won't touch on them today, but I'll show you how to add items and how to tag your activity as well. So to add your items, you see this item list title here. Just go into the green add button and we'll get a pop-up box with all of the items we've created in our organization. Um, so again, you can search through these just like you can your item bank, just like you can with your activities. Um, and then when you see the ones you want, you just check the box beside them. You can see here as well, with activities, um, the status is indicated by a check mark or an X. So check mark is published obviously, and an X is unpublished. So if I try add that test item that's unpublished to my activity, I just can't, won't let me click it. So when we're happy with what we've selected, we just hit the select button. And now we can see that the items were added to our activity in the order that we selected them in the pop-up box. So if we're not happy with that order, we can just hold down the activity we, or the item that we want to move and just drag it around the page. And we can also delete the items with the trash can icon as well. So now we can preview what we have in the preview tab. You'll see click start when you're ready to begin. And if we hit start, we can see our questions, there's our question or our item that we created previously and so on and we click finish and we can submit that. So we can see the whole experience that the student will have. Um, then we can go along and tag it. So we'll hit this tag tab here as well and we'll click add. And then we will add an activity or add a tag. So we'll subject, we'll pick geography, we'll pick some topics, Europe. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and then just remember to click create, which is just save, same thing. Um, yeah. So now our activity is created, now we can change the status as well to published, since we're happy with it, and it's good to go.